Hello and welcome once again to Captain Goodspeed Maths. I'm Joe if you're new around here and today we are going to be discussing the OCR FSMQ new specification and in particular trigonometric identities. So the learned objective today is to derive famous trigonometric equations and manipulate them to suit our needs. So first of all let's begin with this. You love to learn trig identities as they'll help us solve lots of problems with uh, trigonometric equations that we'll talk about a little bit later. Let's remind ourselves of our lovely soccer toe equations that we know from GCSE. So sine equals opposite over hypotenuse, cos equals uh, adjacent over hypotenuse and tan equals opposite over adjacent. Let's think about that in a different way. So not done anything too surreal here, I've just took the first letter, letter of them all and called S equal to O over H, C equal to A over H, and T equal to O over H. Right, let's, for a laugh, divide S by C. So we get S over C is equal to O over H divided by A over H, which is actually O over H times H over A, which is equal to, um, what once the H is cancel, is O over A, which is tan. So if you divide sine by cos, it drops out a tan. So there we have our first identity, sine theta over cos theta is equal to tan theta. So uh, here's a lovely triangle and we've got our three identities at the top. Let's, for a laugh, square S and C and add them together. So sine squared plus cos squared is equal to opposite uh, or O squared over H squared plus A squared over H squared, uh, which is O squared plus A squared over H squared. And uh, if you think about Pythagoras, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So think about the generic uh, trig triangle. So we've got opposite, hypotenuse, and adjacent. So if you do an O squared plus A squared, that equals h squared because we've got the opposite squared times that adjacent squared and that equals the hypotenuse squared by uh, Pythagoras. So therefore we have h squared over h squared which is 1. So that brings us to our second identity sine squared plus cos squared equals 1. <clears throat> so you've now met our first two trig identities you'll meet some more in core 3 in year 13 uh, or the old style core 3 I'm not entirely sure uh, what the what the A-level stuff is now. I've been out of the game for a couple of years, so um, not entirely sure whether Core 3 still exists, but you'll learn more trig identities as you, as you go along in your maths education. So we've got sine theta over cos theta equals tan theta, and sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals 1. So we can manipulate that second equation uh, to suit our needs. So sine squared plus cos theta equals 1, so therefore sine squared theta is equal to 1 minus cos squared theta, just taking the cos over the other side. And similarly cos squared theta is equal to 1 minus sine squared theta. And we'll talk about a little bit about that uh, later. So remember these identities or how to get them, you are not given them in the exam. So learn them, you know, two equations uh, and they'll really, really help you uh, in your FSMQ if you can remember them. So, how can we find x in this question? Cos x equals 0.7. What we are asking here, which angle has a cosine of 0.7? The answer is easy. Just check on a calculator. You do the shift cos of 0.7 and we get about 45.6. But that is not the only answer. And you can see by the emoji there, the absolute shock and horror at that. That is not the only answer. We have to find the other answers that are hiding from us. So we've got these three wonderful graphs, uh, very, very famous shapes and, and also very symmetric, which is uh, why we don't have um, only one answer. So we've got y equals sine x, y equals cos x, and y equals tan x. So remember those as well. Uh, you know, they are particularly important, especially as you go through your um, mathematics education and uh, yeah you want to you want to learn them <coughs> pardon me so let's look back at the question cos x equals 0 0.7 so that's not really an equation it's the the meeting of two graphs so we've got um, the the line cos x and we've got the line no uh, 0 0.7 so y equals cos x 
y equals 0.7 and as you can see there are two answers within this range so the answers are where the two graphs meet and there's one there's the one that the calculator told us about the 45.6 uh, and <coughs> we remember that we have symmetry on the graph so if we do 360 minus 45.6 we'll get 314.4 so those are the two answers in the range 0 to 360 now I must stress that that is in the range 0 to 360 in 0 to 720 there's another two answers and in 0 to whatever uh, 720 had 180 is um, you know sorry 720 had 360 is so 1080 from 0 to 1080 the six solutions for example and similarly from minus 360 to 360 there's four solutions and and, and you get the idea so uh, there's infinitely many solutions you can keep going on and on and, and these graphs will keep going on and uh, you'll get infinitely many solutions which might be quite hard for you to picture but that is the case so solve for the range x in the range 0 to 360 sine x equals 0.35 draw the line and the graph so we know that y equals sine x is that we then draw our line across uh, y equals 0.35 this time sorry that's a typo there um, identify the intersection points we get the calculator involved so the shift sign of 0.35 is 20.5 degrees and then we remember the symmetry but this time we're not taken away from 360 the symmetry only takes place um, in, in between this region here so it's going to be 180 minus 20.5 so our two solutions are going to be uh, 20.5 and 159.5 Make sure that that's clear in your head. That's why it's very important you draw the graph for this. Next one, solve for x in uh, the range 0 to 360. Tan x equals 1. So the, the uh, we draw the line, the, 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 the tan uh, graph, and then we draw the line y equals 1. Identify the intersection, so there's 2 there. Get the calculator involved. X equals 45. If you do the shift tan of 1, you get 45 degrees. Very famous um, sort of identity that. And then uh, we use the symmetry of the graph to work out the other one. Now you can see this time that uh, this solution is the exact same distance from 0 as this solution is from 180. So a very good thing to remember about tan is that solutions come every 180 degrees. So you just simply add on 180 so we get 225 so th this is a little bit more difficult so these are the the very basic ones that uh, you would probably get at GCSE now we're going to move on to why in in this course why this is in this course so solve for x in the range 0 to 360 3 minus 5 sine x equals 0 you might be thinking what well don't panic, just uh, treat it as any other equation. So this can only work when the trigger's on one side and a number on the other. So we've got 3 equals 5 sine x. <coughs> but it still only works if sine's on its own. So we have to divide both sides by uh, 5. And you can see a very faint line there. Um, it's a new version of PowerPoint since I last recorded these uh, um, things. And some of the, the black lines have now become grey lines. So you, you'll notice that in some of the videos but sine x equals uh, 3 fifths um, <coughs> I don't know where this cough has come from I'm really sorry about that but uh, sine x is equal to 3 fifths uh, so we draw our line y equals sine x and then uh, we draw our line y equals uh, 3 fifths so we, we get that so there's our two intersection points there and then we get our calculator involved shift sign of three fifths is 36.7 and then we take that away from 180 to get 143.1 so this is the hardest type of question that you can be asked well not quite the hardest but second hardest let's say solve for x in the range 0 to 360 tan squared minus 2 tan minus 15 equals 0 and again, you'll be thinking, what on earth is this? Well, don't panic. Let's just treat it as an equation. So t squared minus 2t minus 15 equals 0. And that's a lot more solvable. 
it factorises, lovely, to t minus 5, t plus 3 equals 0. So t equals 5 or t equals minus 3. So that means uh, we bring back the trig and say tan x equals 5 or tan x equals minus 3. And then we do exactly the same as we did before. We draw our two lines on and this time we've got four solutions. So we do the shift tan of 5, which will all get... Uh, one answer we'll do the shift tan of minus three which get the other answer and then we'll add on 180 to those respective answers so we'll get 78.7 and 258.7 and 108.4 and 288.4 four solutions there and finally this is the promised hardest question you can be asked at this level uh, but even then I would say this is possibly a little bit unlikely but we'll see so we've got 3 cos squared plus 2 sine uh, sin x minus 3 equals 0 so the, the the we can't have two bits of different trigonometry we've got to somehow weasel in uh, one um, one or the other into there well what about this uh, little bit of trig that we had from before sine squared theta is equal to 1 minus cos squared theta or cos squared theta is equal to 1 minus sine squared so where we see a cos squared we paste in 1 minus uh, sine squared so we get 3 times 1 minus s squared plus 2s minus 3 equals 0 we expand it out and we get that and then we tidy it up and we get that which is uh, quite nice because our factorizes to s times 3s minus 2 equals 0 so we factorize it uh, and then draw the graph so we've got uh, s equals 0 or we've got s equals uh, 2 thirds so we we draw those lines in like that and work out the solutions so uh, shift sign of 0 gives you 0 and then you've got 180 and you've got 360 so that's why it's very important that you draw the graph and uh, for uh, two thirds you get um, 41 degrees for your first solution so 180 minus 41 uh, is 139 technically but I guess with rounding it's it's gone to 138 on your calculator it'll be something silly like 130 uh, 8.4 and the other one will be 41.4 I, I, I'm not entirely sure but make sure you, you round properly and uh, that, both the angles add up to 180 uh, and there you go 0, uh, 180 and 360 and you know it's just animated a little bit out of order there but uh, those were the two equations we got from the factorization but that is that trigonometric identities you have got everything in your armory to be able to do it now um these are the hardest type of questions. If you can get your head around these, you're 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 onto a winner. Um, oops. Uh, getting in, uh, getting it down to just one piece of trig is the secret to these. And if you had something like um, three cos x equals four sine x, then you'll divide uh, by cos on both sides, and you'll end up with a tan. That that sort of thing. So make sure you do practice these questions because they probably will come up on the new spec uh, they are tough and you know but if you keep your wits about you and you remember these identities you will be on to a winner if you found it helpful make sure you leave a like down below if not then let me know what i can do to improve and uh, yeah best of luck with your fsmq i hope you're having a good day thank you very much for watching and goodbye